Pisces, hi. Thanks for stopping by my channel, Beyond the Moon. I am doing a peek at your person love reading. All right, so uh, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this does not resonate, please check your other placements for messages there. Feel free to cross watch. All right, don't force anything. If it's not your reading, it's just not for you. Let's get into your reading. So we have calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Separation, a time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Ooh, Pisces, switching things up here, huh? <laughs> this is the overall energy for the reading. So this could be you, it could be them, all right? Um, then I'm going to get into your persons. And again, it is general. So Pisces, it could be talking about your person, but it could be your energy. All right, so flip-flop and reverse it how you see fit. All right, let's see. Then we have children. Your love life is being affected by children. This card has a few different meanings. Yes, it could mean actual, literal children. Um, so maybe you have children with this person, or they do, you do, whatever. Um, or this could mean somebody could be acting very childish, or it's time to act a little bit more playful, all right? Um, but I do feel like there is a separation on the horizon here for you, um, because you're calling in your soulmate, and then we have new love. So I feel like Pisces, I feel like you're maybe ready to call it quits with somebody in your life. And you're trying to manifest a soulmate, new love. All right. Um, but let's get into it. Current energies for Pisces person. Current energies. Yeah, six, six of swords. Wanting to move into calmer waters. I feel like you've been in a very choppy energy lately, um, you and this person. Page of Wands, there could be an age difference between the two of you. If not, I feel like this person, Page of Wands is like that spark, that idea, that chemistry, that fun, playful energy. And I feel like that's been lacking so much in this connection because it's almost like he's pushing it away. Fearing it, not wanting it, not letting it happen. It could be passionate arguments too. I'm just saying, I know that's not always the case with that card, but I'm kind of sensing that energy. Eight of Wands, communication. Fast moving communication could be electronically, like through text, email, social network, whatever. I feel like there's something to do with communication or movement. This person may want to move things into a calmer place and want to communicate with you, okay? What else? What else? Queen of Cups. There you are. Or it could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, all right? A water sign here. For some of you, you could have experienced your person being a little bit like possessive, emotionally imbalanced, jealous. There could have been something like that going on um, for some of you. Or this is like this person just really, I feel like they want, they want to give you their cup of love. They want to love you and they want to communicate that with you. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be dealing with an earth sign. If not, I feel like this person wants to communicate to you, like, let's get on the same page with our emotions and our loyalties and our stability here. I, I'm kind of, I know this is your person's energy. I'm kind of feeling like it's yours, Pisces. I feel like you just want to move away into a calmer place and attract new love, something that is stable and loyal. And I feel like you might be heading towards another water sign or an earth sign, or you're embracing those energies. You're being you, the water sign that you are, but also trying to be a little bit more practical and grounded and balanced and possibly a focus on like long-term stability. Let's see, what are blockages here in this connection? Blockages. Nine of Pentacles. Hmm. Pisces, I, I feel like you just want to be independent and single and and like radiate like attraction and fun and just being 
stable, your, you know, your beautiful shining self, male or female, it doesn't matter, you guys. All right, like you just want to radiate that beauty and I feel like that's blocking this or you're trying to become single because you're trying to call in your soulmate and this person's having a hard time letting you be single or giving you the space you need. Page of Pentacles, again, it could be an age difference here. Doesn't have to be, but there's something about um, stability being blocked. Even that beginning stages of stability that's being blocked here like this connection just isn't stable I almost am getting like a toxic energy from this uh four of wands that's that leveling up card so going from you know dating to exclusive to engagement to marriage or buying a home moving in together 11 11 make a wish twin flame soulmate um a reason to celebrate that's being blocked. Pisces, I feel like you you have your eye is on somebody else. And I feel like this person struggles to let you go. Oh, no. Okay, five of cups. Sadness, loss, regret, remorse. I feel like you don't... I feel like you're not really feeling regret, but I feel like they're feeling very like sad about this. Hold on, let me get more. Blockages, blockages for Pisces. Page of Cups, we have three pages here. There could be a huge lack in communication between you and this person. We are in Mercury retrograde. It ends on October 18th and the post retrograde goes for like a week or two afterwards. So you still feel that energy and that's really highlighted with communication. And then you have three pages, which could be communication, right? So I feel like and two of them are blockages. Like there's no communication about stability or the future or emotions. I feel like it was a lot of like passion versus like practicality. You know what I mean? I feel like it was more like that sex driven versus practical and, and grounded stability. I feel like it's lacking that. Uh, let's see, how does this person truly feel about you? The tower, Scorpio energy and the world. <sighs> Pisces, I feel like you trying to walk away from this situation is causing, it's like earth shattering to this person. But I, I just feel like they didn't treat you right. I feel like they, it was a lot about sex, but they didn't give the other parts in this. They weren't maybe even mentally stable, but I feel like they weren't stable financially or offered that to you. And I know it's always give and take reciprocity. I'm not saying that you need to find somebody that'll just take care of you and give you money. I'm just saying it's like, I feel like this person didn't do their part or they could have taken money from you. Pisces, your readings are always like this. I don't know, this message is for somebody and it's like, this has been going on for a while now. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm getting the sense like you wanting to walk away or not communicate or not be with this person and go towards somebody else. It's like earth shattering to them. Kind of sensing it was like a karmic or a toxic connection here. Mm. Ace of Wands, of course. How do they feel about you? Ace of Wands, of course they do. They want a new start because there's chemistry and passion and sex. I feel like that's what this person thrived on or, or is like all they had to offer was like a sexual aspect. I mean, you turn them on, you do it for them. They're attracted to you. They, they are. And they want a new beginning here, but I feel like it's more selfish 
on their their part, right? Uh, two of Swords. So they see that you're undecided. They see Seven of Wands that you're very much protecting your energy and that you're very cold and cut off right now. Um, possibly releasing uh, things that no longer serve you and you're realizing this connection isn't good for you. So you're being very protective of your energy. It's almost like you're living in a bubble. And they see you making more of a, a logical decision over emotional. Like you're actually, they're trying to pull on your heartstrings to get you back. And you're kind of putting that wall up and making more logical decisions instead of like, oh, I love you and I want to be with you and falling back into that karmic cycle. I feel like you're actually learning the lesson here. You're stressing this person out, though. I can tell you that. I can see it all over this. Like, they are in their head about you, Pisces. Let's see. What's the potential outcome here? Keep in mind, free will. Free will. So it could change. All right. Potential outcome here for Pisces in this connection. Six of Pentacles. There's that equal give and take reciprocity. But hold on, because I feel like it could also be breadcrumbing. So they could be trying to string you back in or string you along. Three of Pentacles. This is working together, being on the same page, having the same goals, turning dreams into realities, right? I feel like this person couldn't offer that to you. And now you're in search of that with that soulmate new love. I feel like you're cutting this person off or out with that queen of swords. You're yeah, Again, you're protecting your energy. You're, you're, you're protecting your energy or yourself here because you're trying to manifest a soulmate, the ten of pentacles, a forever person, long-term um, loyalty, possibly build a family with them or have children with them. Or have a life with them. It could be a blended family. You know what I mean? But I feel like you're really trying to manifest that. And this person keeps trying to poke their way through. And you're being very protective of your energy. A lot of cards came out here. There's that devil. There's something divinely guided going on here, Pisces. This person's going to try and manipulate because it's the magician next to it, Capricorn energy, Gemini energy. This person's going to try and manipulate to get you back. They're toxic. This person's toxic. They're manipulative. They're obsessed, I feel. There's possession, possessiveness, obsessiveness, like all of that happening. But you're making this choice here with Gemini energy, the lovers. You're making this choice to go after your Ten of Cups, your ultimate happiness, your Ten of Pentacles, your Ten of Cups. You're making that choice to chase your soulmate. Could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, all right? Um, we have Judgment here, that Scorpio energy, and I should have pointed that out before. This person's going to constantly try to come back and reconcile with you. They're, they're going to manipulate to try and come back, but you, my friend, are going to be unbothered. All right, something's going to happen here where you have that wake-up call. Wake-up call, judgment card. That wake-up call where you recognize and see this connection for what it is and you know you deserve better. And I feel like you have possibly already met somebody or have somebody coming in towards you. Um, again, it could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. It could be another water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. But again, look at this energy in the pictures. They're both so unbothered and so connected to the universe, like their intuition, their groundedness. You know, I feel like you're just finding your complete happy place now, Pisces. You've made that decision. This shit is divinely guided, all right? Also, divine timing is happening as well. Um, Sagittarius energy. And you're going with the flow. And then now we have four, pa four pages. Page of Cups. You're finding that fun playfulness about you again. Because I feel like it was buried when you were in this connection with this person. It was very toxic. 
And now you're going out and you're being fun and flirty. And I'm seeing the pig fly in this pig in this. And I feel like this person's going to try to keep coming back. And you're just like, when pigs fly? Like, it's not going to happen. I'm done and I'm moving on. I'm calling in my soulmate. And I feel like they are delivering your soulmate to you. Could be a Sag. Could be an Earth sign. Could be a Water sign. It could be any sign. All right. But you do. You have somebody. And I feel like they match your energy. Pisces, you're not always grounded or calm, cool, and collected. You know, you're not always like that, but I feel like they match your energy with the chaos and craziness of this. Because it's it's not, this isn't going to go away right away. It's still going to continue to bother your your current moments, right? And this person understands that. It's it's that separation part. I feel like this person coming towards you is very understanding. All right. So uh, what's the biggest obstacle for Pisces? Letting go. Yeah. Let it go. Just let it go. Cut off the communication with this person. I f I'm feeling a very strong narcissistic, controlling, possessive energy coming from that person. I'm just uh, like, I'm, I feel like I need a massage. <laughs> I'm feeling very like, ugh. Uh, it's not good. It's not good. But you got somebody here that's helping you through this integration. Yeah. So letting the past go and just integrating your new life, right? Putting that into play. There's balance. There's like a snake eating another snake. I feel like you you win. You win and you can now move on, you know? And I'm not saying win in like the fight or... I'm just saying like finally you realized your worth and you can move on and you got somebody good coming towards you, you know? You're going to have your Ten of Cups and your Ten of Pentacles. Like you're winning at this, you know? Where they're going to make you feel like you can't do anything without them. You need them. You, you, you're worth nothing without them. Like that kind of energy to try and get you back. And it's probably worked in the past. But now, Pisces, I feel like you, you're standing up for yourself. And you know your worth, your value. You know, which is good. I'm proud of you. Good. It's a lot. Healing. So postponement. Putting things off. I wouldn't... that. Don't postpone things you feel guided to do, all right? Um, healing, you're going to be healing. Ordinariness and harmony. Yeah, you're going to start healing and you're finding yourself again. And you're going to find that inner harmony within yourself. And somebody sees your value and your worth, the real value and worth of you, all right? What else for Pisces? Loss. Loss of self and identity. Discover your true self again. Pisces, what? I'm telling you, this person nar narcissistic. Mm -mm. Just make sure you're safe and you don't do anything stupid. Just get away. Fertility. Fresh ideas. Manifest growth. Plant your seeds. Yeah. That's what you're doing. You're in a very fertile, abundant place because you finally realized your value. Uh, crossroads, divergent path, choices, confusion. Follow your intuition. Follow your intuition, Pisces. You guys are like psychics. And very easy. It can get blocked when you're in situations like this. But I feel like you're really starting. Look at that. Self-worth. Value, self-esteem, confidence. Be empowered by valuing yourself. You're finally there. Sacred journey. You're understanding who you truly are. Your self-discovery. Um, and hesitation. Past heartbreak, broken trust, afraid to move forward. Don't hesitate on moving, letting the past go and moving into the new. All right. Your past heartbreak it, that's going to get healed, this new person. But I feel like this new person understands your hesitation because you don't want to just jump right into it, you know. Um, and I feel like they're very, they're very understanding. I'm getting a very loving, caring, understanding, nurturing, compassionate energy from this new person. Like, it's good. Like, over here, I keep getting, like, awesome, warm, loving energy. And then this, I'm like, I have a headache. <laughs> 
Uh, hey, thank you so much for sticking with me until this point in your reading. It is not over. I just wanted to make a real quick announcement. I am doing a 10K subscriber giveaway. A bunch of goodies are going to be given out, and I am so excited. I can't wait. Uh, one of them is an iPad Air and also crystals tarot decks, oracle decks, all that fun stuff. So please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button to help me circulate these videos. And if you would like to book a personal reading, the information's in the description box below. And let's get back Jeez, into your reading. feel so bad. All right, what else for Pisces? What else for Pisces? Karmic, what? Told you. There's a lesson here. Fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, loss, letting go and loving you. Again. It's being clarified again. The snake, competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other man or woman. There could have been third party bullshit going on. There's a lot to do with sex. I don't know, swinger stuff, whatever, to each their own. I don't care. <laughs> I'm just pointing it out. Like there, I feel like there was either other people involved or this person kept putting you in third party situations or competition and being very malicious and that narcissistic way. Oh, all right. What else? What else? Healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. There could have been addiction going on too, especially with that devil that came out. And then I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun, flirty, want to date. I'm telling you, there's somebody new coming for you. <laughs> All right. And it's going to be really good, good energy. They're going to be very understanding. So get rid of this karmic and you're good to go. So Pisces, that is what I have for you. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, that information is in the description box below. And until next time, Pisces, love and light. Take care.